Robin, so it's Shimoy, aka Baby Sham 33 here. Um, so it's off season of war, but they've released a new map, um, and with new nodes, uh, not f fun whatsoever. Um, so just a quick, you know, I'll do a little playthrough because it's, it's the first day, and some new nodes, uh, some of the more annoying ones I've seen so far. Or uh, like this note over here where you have um, limber uh, quick nullify whenever the attacker gains um, a regen buff is nullified after uh, 1.5 seconds uh, so that's gonna um, drastically reduce healing potential and that particularly sucks because on this node you have psychic thorns 3 when the defender st is struck with a physical contact, the attacker, the attacker takes 30% of the defender's attack as direct damage. Striking a defender with any non-contact attack heals the attacker for 50% of the damage dealt. Um, so really you need uh, energy dealing, dam dealing champion, uh, Dormammu, uh, Havoc, um, you know, um, Doctor Strange, um, uh, attackers like that are basically you're killing yourself with every strike. Um, we're sitting here, we have Spite and we have Buff Toggle, Unstoppable 3. Every 8 seconds, the defender gains an Unstoppable buff for 4 seconds. Uh, boost buff unstoppable 3. The defender unstoppable buff gains plus 75% duration and ability accuracy while, unst while an unstoppable buff is active. The defender fights are more aggressive. The fights are more aggressive. Um, just a BS combination um, here. Um, tile 13 when brought below. Uh, that's um, common, but you have Eggies, so intercept three. The defender begins the fight with three indestructible charges. Intercepting the defender attack removes one charge. Okay, few intercepts, that's one thing. But then you also have heavy. The defender begins the fight with six indestructible charges. Each heavy attack strike against the defender removes one charge so basically you're starting off with nine indestructible charges you need to intercept three times and you need to heavy him um six times before you even start doing any damage um so it, it's things like that which honestly the only thing this is serving to do is make the community move more and more away from from war uh it's finding it to be neither fun or, or, or interactive when you're dealing with some things like that. Um, as I said, um, you know, I'm just going to do some, you know, those are just some of my brief thoughts on kind of what I'm seeing and noticing um, on here. Uh, so I'm going to go on this first fight. Spite um, um, the, the unstoppable buffs and so forth. Um, because of that, I'm actually going to try to do this with uh, with Quake. There's no, you know, limber on here, so I'm going to try to play it relatively safe um, with uh, parries. At the same time, I am running uh, suicides. So as I said, um. My Quake gameplay style is getting um, better and better, but as I said, I'm not uh, going to take too many risk doing this. Suppose I said I'm doing um, suicide, and taking damage at this point is uh, costly. Um, but the way these wars are being set up, like I said, you um, from instead of using like a Corvus or something like that, 
um, it's, you know, or a ghost, um, you know, with nodes like that, you're being forced to, um, more to use someone like a, like a quake, honestly, or, you know, or your energy champs, your havoc or, 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 or so forth. But because of all the damage back, more than likely a lot of it. And then you, but then you have certain things like spite. So you're worrying about, you know, your active buffs. Which at the same time is a reason why I'm not doing Quake style because if I dex, that's going to activate spike, spite. Uh, same thing again here. We have, but now we have spite. We have aspect of war. So I got to worry about my block provision and so forth. So it's like okay, trying to get this down as fast as possible. Um, worrying about uh, about my block proficiency, um, but at the same time, as I said. I can't really, I have to worry about um, Dexin because of, um, I have to worry about Dex because of the, because of the spite. So, um, so definitely, you know, you don't want to use Corvus for this. Uh, he's on Awakened. Um, All right. So I'm going to start with a parry. I just want some uh, distance. Trying to be very careful um, and use my parries. That's the good thing about Quake is because uh, you're basically bypassing having to make contact. So when it comes to things like unstoppables, the aspect of war, or so forth, um, so basically you're making you're making you're moving a war away from you know where you're able to use these different physical characters and make contact to do certain things to having to do um, that kind of you know gameplay. I don't think that's uh, very fun or interesting whatsoever. Um, so we have here buff toggle every eight seconds to defend against unstoppable buff, unstoppable power focus defense gains. Da, da, da. While two bars of power suffers, if the attacker has landed a hit in six seconds, they begin to degenerate, losing. So this has brute force, so I can't even quake it um, because you need to make that contact. Um, So brute force works on a eight on a six second timer. Um, every eight seconds, the defender is gaining an unstoppable buff for four seconds. So there's basically, you know, it's like at what point in this match are you not going to take some sort of degeneration of some sort? Um, and you know, like I said, it, that's the um th that's the kind of thing that uh is making this um a, a bit unfortunate is you know when you put combinations like that you know you're 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 basically forcing players one way or another to use items and to spend on war um and then at the same time you know you haven't updated the rewards um, you haven't updated the rewards whatsoever, um, and 
Um, yeah, that, that's that. That's it. I mean, what's exactly is the um, like what exactly is the is the um. And now he's unstoppable. I'm taking degen damage. And there's. I had to move in because. He is charging up. And. It's like, you know, what are you going to do? That, <laughs> as I said, that is like, you're just like watching it degen damage tick away and there's absolutely nothing that you can do. Um, you have to, you know, he's unstoppable. Your, your health is like ticking away fast. And like I said, I'm running suicides currently. So what, for me, it's, you know, when I've got suicides going um, and I'm taking that kind of, that kind of degen damage. There is like, you know, you, 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 either you're just going to die doing absolutely nothing or uh, you're going to have to make that, uh, that sacrifice and just kind of take it on, you know, take it on the chin um, and just take it, take it on the chin. See if you can get a, get a sneak attack in there and hope that you don't get punished. Um, uh, that's. Like I said, I'm not going to go through comments on this whole this whole war or the nodes. Um, those are some some of my early thoughts and some of the things that I see where this has completely gone wrong. Um, between node combinations, the reward isn't there for um, for this kind of for this kind of activity. Um, and to me, it's only this is you're, this is only making it more expensive to run war without uh, without proper compensation. All right, guys. Um, hope you have a good one. Uh, be blessed, and um, catch you next time. Please like and subscribe.